Hello, today I want to tell you a little bit about my crafted uh, peaches. I have uh, one grafted three years ago uh, and also uh, one grafted last season, started this season. This is uh, the young tree and all these uh, branches grow this year and uh, here it's the second graft done and also you can see how many branches were growing only in one season from uh, just one uh, grafted bud because it was summer graft I have more Mm, videos uh, on my po uh, another uh, YouTube channel in Polish about it step by step but I do not have uh, in English that's why I just um, mm, uh, wanted you to do some summary and here you can see a grafted tree exactly the same way uh, three years ago in the summer and in three years I have fruiting a tree, to be honest, in two years because last year was also already fruiting so nicely. Uh, and uh, we can check the places where it was grafted. Uh, it, um, it's very important in peaches, which are very sensitive. Uh, to illness uh, that you graft in few places and uh, not uh, low as usually the tree are grafted uh, only a few centimeters above the ground here uh, there I like do the grafting high and you can see that uh, the, here is the place where the bat only single bat was grafted here and uh, where is the second place? Second place it's here. You can see the grafting place. And third one, it was the uh, development was the worst in this one. You can see here is still the place not growing completely together. That's why it's growing much slower, but still mm, fruiting. And uh, the fruits are quite nice size because I removed excessive fruits from the tree, but still I left too many of them. They are already um, good to eat. Uh, uh, and my very important advice is to do not pick the fruit when they do not fall off um, uh, themselves. It's really worth to wait when they fall down or, um, or just uh, after a very soft touch they just uh, uh, let the tree, <laughs> it's great. When uh, they are really ready and the taste is much better, more, more, much more juicy. And uh, okay, I think that's uh, all about uh, this grafting peaches for today uh, it's really worth to learn how to graft it's amazing mm. and uh, the base tree was the wild plum I, I'm not sure how I should name this species in English but it's just very popular wild plum very small yellow plum so uh, you can have instead of removing this tree you can graft and have really amazing delicious but also beautiful tree this one is uh, my um, the best tasting peach i do not know what the variety is but uh, it's really beautiful also flowering with really amazing color little different than another um, and another peaches here because I have a few trees 
uh, here but this one is really my favorite and also beautiful uh, I can quickly show you some figs we have already uh, almost ready uh, brown turkey here you can see uh, another one almost ready so few figs also main crop growing but very slow this year it was very dry as I mentioned you we can mm, check for also another young plant with plenty of main crop because of pinching uh, you can check my previous movie about uh, my way of growing figs in cold climate we are in Poland zone 6 and you, you can see so beautiful uh, this year oh I have also the khaki still hanging and I think it's hanging very strong but uh, don't leave fruit on such a small <laughs> small plant I already told you last time so this is very small update but the grapes are growing all the time bigger and bigger and amazing I'm really happy of them so that's all little update for today I can I can tell you <laughs> goodbye with these beautiful fruits oh and tomatoes yeah maybe we can just quick look for tomatoes we have here a few fruits and I love uh, growing uh, tomato tomatoes uh, under the roof you can see the strings here so they are not so wet as the rest plants but not in the greenhouse I do not have any so it's amazing oh nice to watch also we have actinidia hardy kiwi like usual I'm not able to say goodbye <laughs> and quite nice size already like on mini kiwi so I hope they will be so delicious as uh, last year. It was really amazing, amazing food. I really recommend you for quite uh, cold climate. But, but as I'm not using very chemicals or um, any protection, you can see that I'm not worried if some bugs are eating a little bit and I do not remove it. I left this for for bugs that that's how oh, you can see wasp also here eating some i'm happy that i can support <laughs> also the uh, some insects do not worry completely about it they still uh, still left for me plenty of great quality fruit so do not panic if not necessary but i noticed also that i have Oh, let me check where it was. I have also some uh, fungi disease, but also not panicking. Just uh, this fruit, this kind of fruit with fungal diseases, I, I just delete them. But so far without any panic and I have quite a lot of them on the street this year. Because it was very dry and after that it was quite wet. And this is perfect condition where um, the plant is very weak, turgor in, uh, in tissues are low because of dry and plant is not so healthy because long dry and after that you have very um, humid per rainy time it's very easy to get rotten like this one. But do not worry, we have still plenty of fruits. So just uh, watch to remove that plant. Also, another one. Also, because it was eaten, and uh, when it's eaten, um, injured, it's easier to have this fungi disease. Okay, that's all about today update. See you.
till next time bye